So when you think about YouTube, what kind of content comes to your mind? A lot of people have a lot of different answers to this question, but one aspect of YouTube that I can safely say comes to a lot of people's minds is the gaming scene. And one of the biggest channels in the gaming community would have to be Game Grumps. I'd honestly be surprised if you hadn't heard of them at this point. The two dudes chilling on a couch <laughs> gonna be happy when playing games formula was basically popularized by them. This video will be made up of two segments. One, a rundown of the numerous controversies they've been involved in and have neglected to really acknowledge publicly in any significant capacity. And two, the decline of the channel's content in its current state. Let's get started with a bit of a history lesson. Game Grumps was created on July 10th, 2012 as a collaboration Let's Play channel between game reviewer John Jafari, aka JonTron, and internet animator Aaron Hansen, aka Egoraptor. After nearly a year of Let's Plays by them, on June 25th, 2013, John Jafari left the channel to, and I put this in major quotes, pursue his own channel. People don't really believe this explanation for a variety of reasons, but this video is going to be long enough, so I recommend the Gamer from Mars video on it. It's a great watch. Anyway, ever since John left, a new co-host was brought in named Dan Avedan. They also got a whole crew where it's behind the scenes with one editor dude, but yeah, that's the basic outline of the story. And now, for the controversies. Let's start out with one of the earlier bits of drama. Them not realizing what having a large fanbase is capable of. During an episode of Sonic Adventure, specifically episode 32, they were reading a walkthrough of the game to help out with the emerald treasure hunting levels. Something that not a lot of people know is that you can't actually just Google the solutions to these levels. The emerald's location randomized in every retry of the level, and the person writing the walkthroughs was aware of this. He neglected to mention specific locations because it would help, like, maybe two out of a thousand playthroughs. But then Danny says something a bit questionable. I'm gonna say the name out loud because people are gonna think that, yeah, it's uh, the fact walkthrough by Pizza. He, he, he wrote this, by the way, in 2004. Oh, yeah. So if he gets a wave of hate from our fans, won't he be surprised 11 years later? Oh, I wonder if he married Michelle. He didn't, you know, say something like, hey guys, maybe don't harass this guy by the way, or censor the name on the first upload. The dude himself claimed to be cool with it, but this situation shouldn't have even happened in the first place. According to the dude himself on Reddit, he had to look through copies of the original guy that people had re-uploaded to try and wipe his name off. Hell, according to other Redditors, this guy's phone number was circulated around comment sections. It's like, yeah, don't blame the creators for what the fans do, but Danny displayed a complete lack of awareness and even kind of encouraged what his fans can and would do. And apparently both of the grumps still do, because this exact kind of situation happened again a couple years later. On November 11, 2018, Aaron tweeted out, Dude, if you don't think you're cool, forget it. You're cool. A fan by the name of Ducky's Angel 03 jokingly responded with, Unless you're Ross, then you're not cool. Aaron responded with this, which, just by reading it, it seems like a joke. But then apparently fans just started dogpiling on her, attacking the hell out of her. She even went onto a Game Grumps livestream to apologize to Aaron and Ross via a donation, and Aaron says this. Aaron, I hope you weren't really mad about my Ross not being cool tweet. I was just joking in homage to the old days of Damn It Ross, but I got hate from people when you responded. Love you guys. Ross, you cool with it? He is asleep. <laughs> Aaron, you cool uh -huh. with it? I just, just don't like it when people make fun of my friends. You know what? You know what actually does bother me about it? Tell me, Aaron. It's it's just that like just because it's a meme, it's okay to like shit on somebody, but it's not. Right. It's it's like it it, it means the same when you say fuck that guy, w whether it's a meme or not. It's Although just, it's just fucking uncool. Oh, sorry. You don't like it when fans make a joke about a person that you constantly make fun of and even sold t-shirts of? Even Ross himself saw through this. You want to say something? Ross is Here, coming Ross, up. Let me hand you the mic. Here we go, buddy. So last night, I discovered that people make compilations of Game Grumps, and I didn't know that, and I found out some guy had made a compilation of all the times YouTube shit talk me on Game Grumps. <laughs> it's an hour and a half long. <laughs> well, I don't- it's just- you're a friend, so... Yeah. No, we can we, look you in the face and be like, ah, oh, but if it's just some rando on the internet, it's like... We- we have to take- rude. Aaron- Instead of basically publicly shaming her, you could have said something like, Oh, this joke isn't cool anymore, but you created the joke in the first place and are mad that other people use a joke that you constantly pushed. Danny had the right idea and properly apologized, and yet, you didn't. Do you need to go preach to everyone on Earth or what? And I know what you're thinking. Sino, they're just being rude to fans and leading random people to get doxxed. Wow, I should rewrite that before I get sued. Sino, this is some super light stuff. When are we getting into the real stuff? And my answer to that would be right now. Over the years, Game Grumps has had a wide variety of editors. There was Barry, Barry edited a picture of yourself. There was Kevin, Matt and Ryan from Super Mega. And now, 
I don't even know how to describe this, man. I mean, first of all, his edits are terrible. This is on the same level as Fortnite funnies. Not to mention he apparently gave one person seizures, but you know, let's just uh, sweep that under the rug here. He also, unlike the rest of the people mentioned, has an incredibly creepy Twitter history with Jacob Satorius. Yeah. Jacob Satorius. Just look at all the tweets made to him. May I remind people that Jacob Satorius is a minor? <laughs> and he is a 26, almost 27 year old man. I mean, joking about some of this stuff is alright, but this is a minor that you are doing it repeatedly to. And considering this man's track record, I have zero idea whether or not this tweet is a joke. If this isn't a joke, and he really did get some pictures from him. Eventually, he tweeted out some apology, which I will now read out. Yes, the dumb joke I made was so very unwise and dumb. Lessons have been learned. Please accept my sincerest apologies. He then proceeded to hide any negativity and then eventually delete the whole thing. But you may be wondering, was his job at Game Grumps ever on the line? And my answer to that is no. He edited for quite a few videos after this whole situation ended up happening, only recently having his name wiped out of the credits, which doesn't really mean anything. So if he didn't get fired, did Aaron or Dan at least say something? Well, Aaron has apparently been dodging the question more than I dodged the IRS, whether it be on live streams or by blocking people who ask about it on Twitter. At one point, he was kind of cornered into saying something, and all he said was, It's been handled. Sorry, is the guy who allegedly got news from and repeatedly tweets terrible things at a minor still working there or not? I think that's a fair question to ask that you probably shouldn't avoid. But fun fact, at the time of editing, it is currently 3am, Aaron actually released a statement about Ben. And it fits perfectly in line with what I'm going to say later. I'm still going to talk about it though. First of all, the wording. It severely downplays the kind of stuff he said. He refers to Jacob as a famous TikToker, with the word underage never being mentioned once. And then there's the word jokes being used instead of asked a minor for nudes. Then there's the excuse for him not saying anything. Apparently, Ben lost a family member at the time, so Aaron just thought, okay, I'm just not gonna say anything. It's like, yeah, I understand, but blocking people and filtering everything out only makes your quote-unquote brand that you're so concerned about look even worse. There was still zero transparency, which you can't do just because someone's going through a hard time. And lastly, the timing of this. This comes up again later, but this is in the wake of the Smash Brothers community being ousted for sexual misconduct among themselves. It can't be a coincidence that you waited until now to say something about Ben. Like with what I'm gonna mention later, you're just trying to save your precious quote-unquote brand's ass. So a while back, Senor Pilo made a pretty funny video about the storytime animation community. He was pretty much just clowning on them, and the majority of them didn't seem to mind. You may be wondering, what does this have to do with Game Grumps? Well, the morally just man himself, Aaron Hansen, decided to stand up for those poor storytime animators who didn't ask for it. Hi guys, this is a thread about storytime animation. I will talk a little bit about- This is me! I got made fun of like this all the time when I made cartoons, and it sucked. It didn't give me a thick skin, or make me a better artist, or make me think more about what I was doing. It just hurt. The fact that all the people patting you on the back for this cartoon are old school Newgrounds types, with very few storytime animators commenting, speaks volumes. You can use this thread to pretend it's all in good fun, but it's not fun. It's mean. It hurts. These are kids who are creating, sharing themselves, and trying to find a way to belong. This video only serves to segregate two groups of individuals, both primarily populated by people who desperately want to connect with one another. Some wording in this tweet really caught me off guard, by the way. He used the phrase, old school Newgrounds types. For those who don't know, Aaron got his animation start on Newgrounds. So what, you're just gonna throw your Newgrounds buddies under the bus for no other reason than just to get moral points on Twitter? I genuinely have no other idea on why you would do this. Especially when your entire career involves making fun of video games, something that certain people consider a form of art. Despite what you may think, video games are made by a team of people and no matter how bad they are, you never know what the schedule on a game's development is like. Sonic games for example, I bring this up specifically because this is the series that Aaron clowns on the most, have been infamous for being rushed out the door with Sonic Team employees being constantly overworked. And I mean, I don't think you saying that they didn't even test the game and constantly talking about how quote unquote unfinished it is gives them a thicker skin. It just hurts, man. After this pathetic ass tweet, OniNG and SpazKid, two other originally from Newgrounds now doing other things animators, came out and roasted the shit out of him. Newgrounds made you, and is probably the place with the least hate that you've ever gotten anywhere online. You say you don't read comments. Maybe that's why you think it's better. It's the internet. You laughed hard at SF Chode. P.S. Pilo's cartoon is funny jabs, Christ almighty grow up. 
This is honestly just lighthearted and confusing if anything, like a weird fever dream. I think you're overreacting and making this more about you than anything. Aaron, you used to make videos where you pretended to be special ed and also showed off your massive goiter. Throwing new grounds around if it's the toxic hellhole breeding ground it once was is false and ridiculous. Times have changed and you just want to pretend like everything's the same, but it's not. Hasn't been for a while. Tom has only ever tried to reach out to you. He's referring to Tom Fulp, the guy who created new grounds. He wants to support you in any way he can. Tom has always been there for you because he only has the most respect for you, but you're just making a mountain out of a molehill and you need to stop pushing everyone away and wake up. Damn. So what do you think Aaron does at this point? Does he A, apologize to Pete? No, he doesn't. He apologizes publicly for his past Newgrounds behavior, which was never the issue, tries to paint the community as toxic, and ironically says, holding people of influence accountable for their actions is a good thing. And I couldn't think of a better way to segue into the next bit of the video. For this next segment, we're going to be talking about a word. A word that a lot of YouTubers just love to say. A word that nowadays, it's earth-shattering news if you get caught saying the n-word. Before we get into anything, we should hear Aaron's stance on the n-word. Well, Axel dropped a lot of n-bombs back in the day, so I've never really been a fan of his either. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Huh. It's almost like Aaron doesn't like when people say the n-word. Like, at all. Even if it was a couple of years ago. I'm still trying to think of the most racist thing I've ever, said, I've ever done. I, I, there's gotta be something. Um, After we were- you dropped someone off who was black, you had to say like, n -er, like 30 times. Oh, yeah. You gotta get out of your system. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck animated n I take care of them, nigga. HXC. Yeah, for real, nigga. Give it up, motherfucker. Let me tell you a tale about a nigga named me gonna f <laughs> When did this game come hey, let's see what people are saying on the forum. <laughs> you just fucking scream the N-word? <laughs> what? I was trying to emulate a message board. Oh my god! Huh. He also doesn't like it when you say it in songs, apparently, too. Uh, I just can't imagine the context of, like, this super white dude just dropping end bombs in a fucking rock and roll song. Seems a little inappropriate. I'm a fucking deducting master, he foul disaster. Now, I'm not showing these clips because I got offended over his usage of the word. I'm not black, it's not within my right to get offended by black slurs, and I'm definitely not pulling a Sky Jackson and calling him a racist because of something he said that long ago. But if you go on to disavow former friends and an entire community you used to be a part of over things they've said and their quote-unquote toxicity, what makes you above them? Hell, you went out of your way to disassociate with JonTron after he made his remarks and, to this day, still won't associate with him. It's been a long time since I talked to John. We are not on bad terms. We are on fine terms. It's just that he lives across the country. Um, questionable if he'll be on the show on guest rooms uh, due to recent uh, things that have been said. Yeah, uh, very questionable. Do not agree with any of those things. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to promote that idealism. Yeah, it's um, it, it was always kind of uh, maybe yes, maybe no. Because of that, like, it's probably a lot closer to no, uh, but that's not our fault! The person who literally helped you kickstart the channel in the first place. Oh, but uh, the guy who asked a minor for nudes? Yeah, keep him on, we need him. This last one is a lot more recent and related to the one prior. On June 3rd, the Game Wars Twitter posted a statement standing with Black Lives Matter after the recent resurgence of the movement. I mean, of course after Aaron was pressured into doing it. But the statement also doubled as an apology. An apology for said racist remarks I played earlier in the video. So quick question, why would you pick now to apologize? It's like, okay, technically there is never a bad time to apologize, but you really said, we thought just stopping the behavior would be enough. No dude, you were scared of being caught. If you really wanted to apologize and have it mean something, why didn't you the second you realized it was wrong? Because you clearly did realize it was wrong at some point to warrant stopping the behavior in the first place. This statement is incredibly disingenuous and like they're trying to save their own asses. It's like how Alison Brie apologized for playing a Vietnamese character in Bojack Horseman, saying she deeply regrets it, even though the show literally ended five months ago. I'm honestly 99% sure that if this whole movement never happened, they never would have apologized. After this apology, they went on to private and delete several old videos, including, but not limited to, Pokemon Part 13, Banjo-Kazooie Part 11 and 19, Animal Crossing Part 2, Sonic 06 Part 36, all of Bayonetta for some reason, and both John and Dan playthroughs of A Link to the Past. Shout out to r slash rantgrumps for compiling all of this. You know, I wonder what some of these videos have in common, in addition to the fact that the controversial figure, John Shron, is in them. Give it up, motherfucker. 
Fucker, let me tell you a tale about a nigga named me gonna f When did this game come hey, let's see what people are saying on the forum. Ah! You just fucking scream the n-word? Oh. Aaron Hansen's opinion and views will change into whatever is needed to go with whatever is popular and make himself seem like a saint in comparison to everyone else. It's like every day he plays a game a lot of internet quote unquote celebrities play. It's a little game called what do I want to be today? Do you want to say some racist things or be holier than a former friend? Do you want to make fun of everything all the time? Or do you want to call an internet animation poking fun at a group you're not even involved in mean? Do you want to employ someone who allegedly got nudes from a minor? Or do you never want to let the co-creator of the channel back on because of some remarks he made? which he later apologized for. Hope this video doesn't get copyright struck, by the way. They have quite the history of doing that. Who knows? I might even get mentioned on GameGram says, some rando on the internet. And now, onto their content and its decline. This part of the video is incredibly subjective and not factual. Just my opinion. In my eyes, you can only tell the same Sonic bad, Aaron rage at game, Aaron doesn't read tutorial, then blame game, funny penis farts jokes so many times before it starts to get old and annoying. I've sat down to watch some more recent episodes and honestly, the feel of the videos has changed so much, but not in a good way. It's become flanderized for lack of a better term. In old Game Grumps, they'd have long conversations about anything, talk about a movie they once saw or their opinion on some random ass thing. But now, it's just bland commentary about the game that they're playing and that's it. No more of that hanging out with your best friend vibe the old videos used to have. And any time they strike gold in an episode, instead of leaving it and letting it be funny, they feel the need to shove it down your throat and say, IT IS EVEN FUNNIER THE SECOND TIME. Everything needs to be a funny, hilarious bit on Google. Huh. People love when I get mad at video games. Why don't we do that every day, every episode, all the time? And some of you might be saying, well, if you don't like it, don't watch it. And you know what? Sure, that could apply here. But when I see some of the things that these people have done and gotten away with time and time again, coupled with their lack of transparency on any subject, and the fact that the content that they're making is an absolute shell of what it used to be, I want to give my opinion where I see fit. Also, another comment Aaron made in a recent video came off to me as odd. Yeah, times have changed, man. Yeah. We've reached the golden era of Game Grumps. Who I don't know Let's Plays and reacting to compilations about you are constituted as the Golden Age. In my opinion, the real Golden Age was from when the channel started to 2016. There were so many shows, the content hadn't felt flanderized yet, and I think only one of the things I talked about really happened. Also, I feel like this would be a great time to mention, I don't care if you currently watch Game Grumps or enjoy what they make, like what you want to like, I just have a couple of complaints and grievances with the channel I used to like, if that makes any sense. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Dear God, it is 5 a.m. as I am saying this. So like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, comment if you want to send some public death threats, and subscribe if you want to see some more content from me. Peace.